this sound right here, this sort of bass sound is kind of what inspired the whole song. Kind of like an electronic didgeridoo or something like that. Like, it, like, the, like the instruments they play in Australia, where it's like the half wind and like it just makes like the sort of vibrating sound. Just added the drums and I kept it four on the floor and it was simple and cool. But then add a little sort of house moving hi-hats. And I thought that gave it a little bit of a cool shuffle, you know? To like sort of build suspense with the bass, um, what I did was I added the roads, like the sort of roads that kind of sits on top of it in a very subtle way. And uh, it just adds on to the tension and release of the song. And then this is my favorite part right here, this sort of flute that weaves in and out. And I kind of have it going from left to right. Then the synth pads come in to make you feel like you're rising. And all of this stuff seems like it's gonna come to like a climax almost, but then raises you up. And then the swift, swift drop down. I call it the anti-drop, you know, when you're about to, you think you're gonna get like the big payoff and then it just drops right down. Me being a guitar player, I kind of, uh, I can't help but put it everywhere I can. Very light. You know, that's all you need when coupled with all this very, very intense stuff. It gives it more of an up-tempo sense. Last but not least is the vocal and the lyric approach. Two of my favorite lyrics that stick out to me are uh, it says you take me to a different colored world where black is blue and white is tangerine, meaning like this person um, adds depth and color to your life that that isn't there before. You know what I mean? I feel you everywhere dancing in my hair. I was listening to Prince uh, before. Uh, in, in the days that I was making this song and uh, I was listening to Erotic City I think it was and he had the song every time I comb my hair thoughts of you get in my eyes and uh, his lyrics kind of twisted and smeared the canvas in a way where it made you tilt your head a little bit differently and it was almost like this surreal sort of psychedelic imagery and feel to it that I wanted to have and I thought it went really well with the synth pads and all of the sort of euphoric stuff that was going on I had this verse and it started with a verse and just this vamp for a really long time. And then all of a sudden, you know, I started dancing to it, trying to get a vibe, pick up on it. And I, and this just, this just fell out of me, this one. Did it in my tracks and I was like, oh my goodness. And now we have something. Ooh. 